What is going on guys? It's Triple G here back with another Godfall video and today we're going to be going through exactly what it is you can do to get the fastest amount of leveling possible in addition to that actually getting the best loot at the same time. Guys if you do enjoy this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch we stream five times a week and otherwise let's get straight into this video. So you will have been playing the game for a while and then you will come across maybe around about level 10 to 15 the second planet which is the water planet upon unlocking this planet you will actually get access to the tower of trials the tower of trials is kind of like a horde mode and it reads the central tower is not merely a means of traversing the four regions it's also a place where a warrior is tested by the very essence of magic the monolith will push you to the brink of your ability and break you if you are not careful However, it is said that a true knight, one who is able to pass these trials, could unlock the power of the Archons. Now, you will need some coin of valor to unlock and run this trial, which you will get just by progressing through the story. So now that we know that the Tower of Trials is, let's talk about why it is so rewarding. So first of all, you're going to come up against a series of waves. Each wave will have an elevator section and then a room section. Most of the room sections will actually have people and bosses to fight. But there is one section which is just a loot section area that is up towards the latter part of the process. The reason why this is so rewarding is because you're getting tons of enemies thrown at you in a short period of time. And in addition to that, you have another room with another ton of enemies. So you're constantly bouncing between waves and waves of enemies. These enemies aren't too difficult to defeat and obviously they have the potential to drop loot as well. Add in the fact that you actually get chest loot onto top of that and all of a sudden you've got a very, very rewarding thing. I went up 10 levels in about two hours by just doing this process. So let's talk about exactly what it is that you have to do in the Tower of Trials. What you'll see at the top of the screen is a reducing timer that goes from right to left. If you complete and kill all the whole wave, before you reach those keys you will unlock those keys those keys are really important because you will be unlocking loot at certain sections after you clear those waves so you will start in the elevator room you will clear that wave it will then give you a series of doors you will then be able to select the doors now the doors have icons on them above them which indicate what type of enemies that you're going to fight you will open that door then you will have to clear a separate wave of enemies and potentially a couple of bosses and then at the end of that you will get access to one of two things you will get access to a vigil which will allow you to unlock certain skills percentages buffs that kind of thing that you will take through carrying forward through the trial or you will actually get a chest where if you are successful and you clear the room you will get a guaranteed chest that you don't need to use keys on and then you will get another chest that will consume a few of your keys. So say, for example, you have five keys and the chest is five keys to open. You can open that chest, but you will also lose the keys that you have just had. Bear in mind that as you go up the tower and up the tower, the costs of these chests get more expensive. So you may want to save some keys early on for the later rounds. That being said, if you are super, super efficient and you can kill them very, very quickly, you won't actually need to do that and you'll have more than enough keys to actually complete the task now you do have a limited amount of respawns when doing this task so you do need to make sure that you've got yourself properly set up and optimized in terms of skills don't forget that you can still respec on the fly as well in case you are struggling and you will pick up items that really do help you the experience in this area is absolutely fantastic and in addition to that you get a ton of loot as well. I have significantly increased my arsenal while doing this process. So guys, I really hope this video does help you. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip.